The Visiting Scientist core team is, to me, the easiest thing to brag about. We wanted an experience that would go beyond what you get in a class. It's a gathering that each week includes lecture, discussion, work with readings, work with papers. This is education at its finest. You're not graded. There are no grades. It's not even an official class. They come on their free time to learn. If anybody knows anything, about the subjects that we're going over in core team, they're instantly amazed. We bring in this amazing scientist who's got a body of work that is well respected within their profession. Over a span of six months, we build a sequence of understanding that leads to being able to read the papers this person has published in journals, or being able to read the chapters in the book they've written. At the end of six months of, of this shared study period. The visiting scientists will come and give a lecture to the entire school community. And then sometime later in the year, we'll all go visit that scientist in their lab or in their field of work. Last year, Bonnie Bassler came and she had talked about bacteria. She was really able to get into why she wanted to do science. She took a couple bio classes in college and was like, wow, and just like kept going, kept going, kept going. And now she runs a lab at Princeton. She's doing all this amazing research, and she took her time out to come with us, and that was amazing, too. You know, it's not normal that you get to learn about microbiology in a serious way in a high school. And we did. <laughs> and, uh, and it changes every year. So many of our students are projecting themselves forward. They have paths ahead of them that they have not figured out yet. And as these visitors come in who are leading lives of very active discovery and research, we're catching our students at a moment where they're imagining, what might my future look like? It's fantastic to meet the people who we study all year. That's my favorite part, um, to be able to see them in their natural habitat, to see what they do on a daily basis, what, what it's like to be a prominent, world-famous scientist. A big part of teaching science is knowledge and information, but I think a bigger part is sharing a sense of fascination, a sense of wonder, a sense of, isn't it incredible that this exists? The concepts we learn are really big. I was in Calc 1 this year and I was just like, I was barely skimming the surface of math and Brian Greene is like writing these huge equations that are defining space and time and it's like, whoa! <laughs> At first you're kind of sitting there and a lot of the stuff sort of goes over your head because you start out really broad, but as you get more in depth, things start to come together and start to make sense. You really do look at things differently because of this class. Being able to learn at such a high level is something I don't get anywhere else. What are the defining experiences in a student's education? It's those times where they've had kind of the freedom to dive into something, and I think Core Team is definitely an example of that. And what you get out of that is, is an opportunity for a student to really latch on to a field. And that's how you, you know, that's how you make new scientists. <laughs>